Welcome back guys, Michelle here from Abandoned Explorers. The house I'm going to show you today is one that we we were going to go right by it and we really didn't have high hopes for it, but we're so glad that we stopped and I think you guys will be glad too. There's some pretty great things left behind inside. Uh, we found one name and our research is kind of inconclusive. This place is right amongst Mennonite country. So we think, and this is all speculation, we think that possibly this may have belonged to Mennonites. Mennonites live below the poverty line in order to avoid taxes. And well, this house definitely says below the poverty line. So if I could go on all day about all kinds of speculations, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. So I hope you enjoy the video, check it out, and we'll see you guys next week. Guys, they're ever thistles. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> Ooh, we've already started out with a newspaper. Yes. Exciting. March seventeenth, nineteen eighty-seven. Nineteen eighty-seven. That's really cool. I wanted to get a look at that for our viewers. Okay. Like, just get a look at some of the stuff on the newspaper. Bingo at the palace. Pretty cool, guys. And here's the check out, check out the NHL scoring race back in 87 when Gretzky was still ruling the world. When he was still ruling the world. I don't know if I'm getting it, but I'm getting, oh, there's. You get it? Yeah, I'm not sure if our viewers can see it too well, but okay, so let's check out the rest of this place, guys. We haven't been in here yet, but uh, we're about to discover it. Fashion sink. Guys, we gotta be super careful where we're walking in here. The roof is uh, caved in in spots. It's very weathered. I'm gonna take you guys through first, then I'm gonna come back around and take some pictures and see what we got. There's sardines still in this can. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Anybody like sardines? Well, it's kind of open. Something has busted into it. Ew. So gross. This would have been a really cute little place, eh? Yes, it would have. Just jar. Very cool. Pots and pans. Not a time capsule, but there's definitely a few things. I mean, I don't know, we're just uh, just yeah. arriving. You never know what else we're gonna find in here. Nice old oven. <clears throat> and a cookie tin. <laughs> no cookies though. It's a little mop it's a downer. What do we got in here? Oh, look at that old TV. And some old furniture. Spider in the window, as long as he stays there, will we be good? Here's an old uh, Christian devotional from 1954, maybe September, October 1954. It's like the modern day version of something called the Daily Bread. Okay. Yeah. Look at this, isn't Chris good at this, guys? He finds me all the good stuff for you guys to look at. And check out this TV. Oh, I know. It's the first thing that i seen when we came in. Let's get a good look at this TV, guys. Hang on one second. Okay, so this would be like an antenna here? Yeah, that was, uh, this would have been a fancy set of rabbit ears. Nice. <laughs> if you can turn the dial. That's awesome. Let's get a look at this for you guys. I haven't, like, 
Do you remember watching TV from one of these? Yes, Grandma. I actually do remember it. Grandma, Savage had one with the console television. Here, if you want to turn this around, we'll be able to get the ear and everything from there. Okay, there we go. We focused. I think that's good. Pretty cool, guys. Okay, Chris is going to put this back and then we're going to carry on. The floor is making me quite nervous. There's the front door. <laughs> How creepy does that look? I love it. Look at that curtain. I love that. Isn't it strange that I love things that are like, like look like it's been abandoned for so long and like it's beyond usable? We love it. Okay. Maybe do you want to go up first? Okay. We made it up safely. Are you in that closet? Yeah. I just closed the door. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Is there a one that goes with it? No, I only found the one for you. much animal poop too. room. Just give you guys a quick look around. Okay, let's go over and take a look at what Chris had found. He said an old TV guide. Here it is. Back downstairs, we've taken a few pictures and we're going to explore more of the main level here. I ran into some huge freaking spiders. You guys missed some serious swearing. Not that I'm, I'm sure you <laughs> don't mind missing out on that, but it honestly scared the shit right out of me. Some really old wallpaper, eh guys? Hello? All right, I think Chris bailed on me. Okay guys, we're gonna check out some of the outside too, so I'll be right back. Chris has already kind of been out here and, and found some pretty cool things while I was taking some pictures, so we're gonna go to, oh, wait a minute. He found something with a name. Woo -woo. We thought we were busted there for that. We thought we weren't gonna be able to find a name or anything, so. I mean, I guess I shouldn't speak so soon. Maybe we're actually not going to find anything great, but <laughs> you just never know. Okay, we already looked at that newspaper. Let's see. Looks like there's just a lot of like old cans and stuff here. It's pouring rain outside, guys. There's clothes over there, like where this one's the mudroom. It's where they hung up their stuff. There's the old lady's. Uh, gardening belt or whatever. Is that what that is? Yeah, her cloths are still in it. Shut up. Yeah. That's really cool. I gotta get a picture of that. Hey guys, this is the barn. I don't know if there's anything left in here. It's not really a barn. I guess you'd call this an outbuilding, wouldn't you? Not really a barn. 
There's nothing in here, really. No. Some skids and some hoses. Yeah, not really a whole lot. Okay, guys, so I think that's going to be it. We're going to head out to the next one. We've got a really long day of exploring today. So we're going to move on and see if we can find anything awesome. And we'll see you guys later.